All right, guys, welcome back. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Where today we are making some uh, breakfast sausage. I got some fresh ground pork from the butcher shop. I'm going to mix it with some rib trimming that I've been saving from my rib cook. That gives me a total of a couple pounds of meat. And what we're going to use today to make it a simple breakfast sausage, and we're going to use this Backwoods Limbs low sodium breakfast sausage, what I like to call add ons, which to this, which is very good, it's low salt. Then you can add other spices to it. You can add your cayenne pepper. If you want it really spicy, you can put some ghost pepper in it, add some extra sage, some garlic. Pepper, add whatever you want to your breakfast sauce and maple syrup. Start with a simple base product. This package will do five pounds of meat. I think right now, let me weigh it. We're just a little over two pounds. I already know what that bowl weighs. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind this up. We'll come back after I grind this. And we're going to show you how we're going to mix this in. All right. I just got the regular sausage die hamburger plate in this. We're only going to grind it once through here. All right. You know these grinders are pretty loud. I will turn it on. I will roll some beautiful music through this segment. And when it's done grinding, we'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to mix all this up and add it on by using your pork trimmings off your ribs or your pork butt. All right, be right back, folks. My calculations are off a little bit. I almost got three pounds of meat. I used the wrong plastic bowl. Anyways, what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. That was good, folks. L.A.M. Breakfast Reduced Sodium. This is for five pounds of meat. We got two pounds of meat. My golden rule, oh yeah, we're going to need about one ounce of water for every two pounds of meat. For every one ounce. Wait. One ounce of water for every one pound of meat. We got three pounds of meat. We're going to need three ounces of water. That's just about three ounces. Alright. And then to this water, we're going to add one and a half tablespoons per pound. Alright. There's one tablespoon. A half a tablespoon. And we'll do this three, two more times. And one. And one more thing. Alright, well, apparently that's a their measurements and my measurement is different. So we're gonna use the whole pack. That's for five pounds. We got three pounds of meat. I always do one and a half tablespoons of my spice. All right, we're gonna give it a try, folks. Hey, this is live. We're gonna go for it. And to this, we're gonna add. That's why I call it addies, add-ons. We're gonna add stuff to the store-bought mix. We are going to add a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. We are going to add one tablespoon of sage. Now, if you don't want to add this stuff, don't. You can leave it all out. But this is how I'm going to make mine for my breakfast tomorrow morning. I want mine a little spicy. So I'm going to go with one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Now, you can use red pepper flakes if you like. 
or you can use the ghost pepper. You can add a little cajon to it. Whatever you like, folks. There we go. And also to that, I am going to add just a pinch of black pepper. Now remember, this is low sodium. We're going to add some salt later after we try this out. What you want to do is mix that up into your water. Really good. We're going to pour that in there. Hang on, folks. This is the fun part. We get to play with our food. <laughs> right, I got some spices left in this cup. What I like to do, get some meat. Rub some meat in there. And voila, all the spices are gone. We're going to mix this up. And we'll be right back, folks, after I mix this up. Mixed up pretty good. You got a little protein extraction there, folks, where it gets all sticky. Now, once you get this mixed up, folks, you want to take a small sample. About a tablespoon or so of your product. Pop this in the microwave or in a frying pan. And we're going to cook it for a small sample. Alright, I'll be right back. I got my sample out of the microwave. We will test it. Perfect. Oh yeah, just the right amount of heat, folks. That's good. Ah. Right. Now, there's two different things you can do here, folks. You can make these in into your bulk patties. Or if you have a... Where is my thing? Oh. Never mind. Got it right here. Now, if you have a sausage stuffer, you can squeeze it out into a tube and make skinless sausage links. Or you can stuff it into the sheep casing and make some skin pat or flakes with them. That's how simple it is, folks. Make your beautiful breakfast sausages with add-ons. Do your simple LAMs, low sodium. Get the low sodium. I recommend that. You can add salt to your neighbor. This had plenty of flavor. Did not need any salt. All right, perfect. All right, thanks for watching. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue, where you too can make simple sausage with your pork trimmings. Use any mixer you want, use any grinder you want. I didn't break out my big grinder today for just a couple pounds, so I used a little one. If you got a KitchenAid mixer, that's fine too. Ah, right, peace out and take care.